Yo, what's poppin' guys? Kai Zerker here, and today I'm showing off a small artifact mod I made called Animus Artifacts. Now, the purpose of this mod, as the full title suggests, is to rebalance the three main weapons from the Cause Anniversary content. Those are Scourge, Torment, and the Staff of Alno Eden. Now, if you want the full information, please check out the mod page, that's where you can find everything. But to keep things short and simple, I'm just going to give a brief rundown of the sweeping changes of these artifacts. And again, another thing to keep in mind is that the numbers you see here aren't exactly what you'll see in-game, probably, unless you have the exact same stats as me, because the weapons scale off of your, en your other enchantments, so if you have something that buffs your destruction or your frost damage, that's going to change things. If that's something that buffs the duration, that's going to change things. So yeah, your perks and other enchantments are going to change the number you see here. So in reality, the numbers are probably smaller unless you're high level. So let's just talk about Scourge. The main focus of this is to banish the summon Daedra, which is something it is known to do in the lore. And then I wanted to lean into that idea and make it also counter the summoners who summon the Daedra, so it can silence enemies as well. Now, Torment is kind of inspired by ESO combat of weaving. The idea is that you'll swing your sword to apply the debuff of fire resistance as well as do some fire damage, and then you'll cast a stronger fire spell in your other hand, or just really any fire spell in general. You could just keep spamming the sword if you want because then you'll just keep the effect up, but if you want to be a spell mage, this allows you to use the sword of one hand and the spell in the other, specifically like a touch spell which would do a lot of damage if you're using the Mystic of the mod, which is what this is intended to do, it's the Simon Rim suite of mods, so yeah, that's that's a good playstyle as well, but it just works for any Pyromancer in general. And then the Staff of Ono Eden, which is my personal favorite, which is applicable to any Frost Mage, but I specifically designed it around the very niche idea of being a Molag Ball worshipping Atronax Stone Lich if you're using Undeath, which is not required, but it's fun. So yeah, it's Inspired around the Mesa Molag Ball where you absorb health, magic, and stamina, although to a lesser extent. Again, the exact numbers are on the mod page. And it uses the Flames of Cold Harbor spell pack by Durini in order to do Cold Harbor, like Cold Flame spell damage and, and, it's, and frost damage. It's really cool, so check out that mod as well. That mod is a requirement for this. And it even works in Lich form, of course. So, if you want the full Alien Lich experience, you could use the Alien Lich from Classical Lichdom, as well as the Staff, and you could do Cold Fire damage, as many aliens were the Light Ball Worshipper. So, very lore-friendly. I know that's a term overused a lot, but yeah. It also helps counter the drawbacks of being a Lich, that being you can't regenerate health through most things. You can't use potions, you can't use most restoration spells, so you can absorb health with the Staff, as well as get Magicka back, which will help you with the Atronach Stone and the Molag Ball Pilgrim perk. So yeah, that's about it for this video. If you like this small mod and you want to see more, just let me know in the comments what changes you want to see, what adjustments, and also check out the mod page for more information. That's it for today. Kaiser Kurao, peace and booyah.